everybody in this video we're going to talk a little bit about what you can do with your mouse I know this is kind of basic for most people but if you're new to computers or you're not sure what you're doing then hey you know that's why we built this site so um, if, uh, and uh, as always if we go too fast or if we miss something just get in touch and I'll help you out all right um, first thing you can let's just talk about the mouse that, you know it's most mice have two buttons, at least two, uh, a right click and a left click. The left click is the one that, that's kind of the business end of it, of the mouse, and that's where you uh, click to make things happen. The right click button tends to be a, a way to get information or to get different options. So, but the first thing, let's, let's talk about the mouse, so you just point, you just use it to point to different things, whatever you uh, are interested in. When you find something, if you're not sure what it is, you can try hovering on it, and you just let the mouse sit on it, and, it will t and you'll usually you'll get some kind of a little tidbit of information about what it is. See, this is just a shortcut, a shortcut. And this even tells you what the recycle bin is. Okay, and you can do that on websites too. So, for example, you can hover over a picture, and you'll get not always, but generally, you'll get a little snippet of information about what it is. And also, when you um, when you put the mouse on a link like that, you notice that down in the lower left, you'll see the URL of where you're going. That's handy to know if you're uh, if you're not sure if a site is legitimate or something, or if a link or if a link looks suspicious. If you uh, hover it like that, you can see exactly where you're where you're going. And then if you're not sure, just don't click on it. Um, most uh, links are just one click. You just click and you're done. Go back. But some things, like say you have an image on your desktop, one click doesn't really do anything. You have to double click that and just click, click, just like that, and it will open. All right. Then use one click to close it. Now, right clicking is really when you click with the the right button on your mouse. This is really a really powerful tool. So let's say you want to um, uh, get some more information about this picture. You put the mouse over it click with the right button and you'll get all these options of things you can do. Um, the one I use most probably is the properties choice and it just tells you a bit about the image. You can also, like for example, if you right click just on a blank spot on your screen, you'll get options to personalize, to do a new folder, to do all kinds of stuff. Okay. And this also works on web pages. If you, for example, right click an image, in most cases you'll get something like this, where you can save the picture, and we'll have a video about that later. Um, we have all kinds of options about the, about the image. Um, now, to select items, selecting is something you do a lot. Let's just go ahead and open uh, Notepad real quick and text. Okay, when you select something, that means that it's like active in the computer. So this text is just text; it's just sitting here. It's nothing particularly interesting. But when you select it, then it becomes something your computer can use. And there's two ways to select it. One, you can go to Edit, Select All, okay, or you can just click anywhere with the left button. You hold it down and you drag it, and anything that goes in the blue there is selected. And then, so for example, let's just say, uh, let's say you want to delete this part here. So you would select it, and then just hit Delete on your keyboard and there you go you can undo that by the way edit undo um, you can also select things on your desktop 
So let's say you want to you want to move all of these things here. So what you do is you hold down the left button on your mouse, you drag it across everything like that. Okay, then you can let go. Then you hold your mouse over one of them, doesn't matter which, and you click and hold the left button down, and then you can move all three of them at a time. You can move them all back. So they're all kind of active in the computer's memory. All right. Um, and I think that's about it. Uh, one more thing you can do. Let's just see. Let's say you have an image here and you want to save this image. Uh, one way to do it is you can, it doesn't always work, but you can try, is you just put your mouse on it, you click and hold the left button down, and then you drag it to your desktop like that. Do you want to move it? And the answer is yes. And you'll see there we have the picture. Uh, and we can double click it to open it. And there we go. Um, that's pretty much it for the mouse. Again, the, the left, or the, I'm sorry, the right click button is really the important one, I think. To, once you uh, realize how many options that opens for you, you'll, you'll be really happy, I think. Anyway, I think that's about it. If you have any questions or if you have any problems, uh, get in touch with me and I'll help you out. Thanks.